we are going to see how to create the responsive full screen landing page using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo. See the navigation bar at the top left corner with nice background hover effect and content in the center of the site. Social media icons at the bottom right corner. And when we hover over it, we can see the text related to the icon slides out. Now let's resize the browser window. We can clearly see the background image is responsive throughout all dimensions. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with HTML structure. First, create the wrapper development with unordered list with the navbar class. And within it, create the three list items. And below the unordered list, create the content development with content in it. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm going to use the Ubuntu Google fonts. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Set the Ubuntu font family to the body. Here sans serif is the secondary font family, in a case, if browsers don't support the Ubuntu fonts. Now let's set the background image to the wrapper div element. Use the URL function of the background property and give the image address in it. Due to content we can see only small part of the image. Let's give the 100% width and height. And see nothing happens even after we set 100% height. Now change the percentage to VH, where VH is viewport height. VH is a new unit, which divides the window into 100 equal divisions. So now the image occupies the full height of the window. and we see that the background getting repeated, use the no repeat value to stop repeating the image. Use center value to center the image, using the background size property and set the cover value, so that the background image covers the entire window. Even we resize the window, the image remains in the center of the window. Style the unordered list, remove the bullets using the list style property and set the width, height, and padding. Set the 30% width, which is relative to the width of the unordered list, and float the list items to left.
Secure text align is used to place the items horizontally in the center. Set the height and line height is used to place the items vertically in the center. And style the text. Use the transition property for smooth transition effect. Set the background effect, when we hover over the list items. Let's add the active class to the first list item, and target the active class and set the background color. Place the content in the center of the window. Set the position value to relative and use the top property to place content vertically in the center. Change the color of the text and increase the spacing between the letters. Give top margin to the P tag. Here I am going to use the Font Awesome icons. Font Awesome is an open source site for free icons. For using the Font Awesome icons, first, we need to include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML document. Due to some reasons, I'm not able to access the Font Awesome site. So I'm including the icons, from my previous demos. Create the share on order list with list items and include the icons. Place the icons in the bottom right corner of the window, by setting its position value to absolute, which is relative to the body, and using the bottom and right properties place it in the bottom right corner. Remove the bullets using the list style property. Style the list items, by setting the padding, background color, use the margin top and bottom values to create the gap between the icons, use the text align property to place the icons horizontally in the center.
use the border radius property to create the round effect. Change the color and increase the font size. Finally, let's create the icon hover effect, first, set the unique values to the data attribute. Here data is the default attribute. And we can add our own things besides the data attribute, so I'm adding the text. the before pseudo element and pass the data attribute value into the iter function of the content property. Now place the text beside the icons and style it. Set the opacity value to 0 and make its opacity value to 1 on hover effect. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.